Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I oh, deep breath. I had probably like one of the scariest days um, that I've had here in Florida so far. Slash probably the hardest, scariest day of this whole year. Um, so in a nutshell, I woke up this morning and really exciting morning because my dad um, flew in this morning. And so in preparation for that, I woke up quite early and just wanted to like get some, you know, work stuff done. And at around 8.30, I went to the bathroom and I saw on the floor there was a little pool of urine that had blood in it and for those of you who own who have cats who have dogs oh nuggets am i going the right way i think i am okay sorry i'm like driving out of disney world and it's like the most confusing um yeah i think this is right um so yeah i saw a little pool of of urine and there was blood in it and I wish, you know, I wish I could say that I was level-headed about it, um, but I kind of freaked out, and I, you know, mostly because we haven't, like, we hadn't yet, or we haven't yet picked out a vet for her, or, like, you know, looked around or done research, which is totally our fault, um, but it just, it wasn't, like, it was just something that, like, I guess kept getting overlooked, and... So immediately I started like researching vets and of course I was worried because you think it might be something um, but you know you never know and she seemed fine she was eating she was playing she was like you know she was fine but there was blood in the urine and so I had contacted this mobile vet this mobile vet like hospital um, sort of like they were like we'll come to you sort of thing and I was like okay that's perfect because she hates driving she hates going in the car she hates going in her carrying case she has so much anxiety about it and normally when I'm home in New York my mom can help me with that stuff and like you know we can double team and like get her in her case and you know like because then of course I get anxi like intense anxiety when when I feel like she's in pain or distress and my mom can kind of help balance me out um so then all of a sudden I'm thinking like, oh my God, I'm so far away from New York. I'm going to have to do this like, you know, this is, this is not going to be easy. Um, so yeah, we uh, put together, oh, I'm sorry for the lighting guys, you know, you know, you know. So I, you know, it was like before nine and I was like, all right, like I need to wait for that mobile vet place to call me back. And... I, you know, it's now it's almost like 9 a.m. And I was like, okay, I'll go in, I'll brush my teeth, and then I need to go. And I need to go pick up my dad at the airport. Um, so I go in at around 9 a.m. And there's another pool of blood, uh, urine that had blood in it. And it was really bloody. And I saw it and had a full-fledged, like meltdown and um like so I suffer from anxiety anyway like it's something I deal with every day it's something that I've been able to manage enough that like you know even when it's really bad I'm still like able to work and like, I can still get out of the house um and a lot of people can't so you know count your blessings um so I started <clears throat> I started hyperventilating and I can't say that I've ever done that before. Um, I was trying to think like you know back to like oh have like when to sort of like compare today's episode um, to anything I've experienced in the past and to be honest, I couldn't think of anything. I think today is probably the worst panic attack. Um, I've ever had and it's tricky too because I think you know it felt to me at least like a, a weird mixture of like a panic attack and an anxiety attack um, so I don't know and, and everyone's different too um, 
but I started hyperventilating and and I couldn't really stand. Um, and luckily I was able to like press on my phone like to call my mom. Um, so I was able to call her and we just sort of, whoa, is that like worse? I'm sorry, the lighting is like crazy. You guys know this. Oh, this Florida like sun. Um, so I was able to call my mom and she was sort of able to talk me through it, luckily. Um, and like I kind of knew in my head that I needed, needed to go, like I needed to go pick up my dad. So I was able to like get my life together and like get out of the house. Um, and I would never recommend driving after you've had like a panic attack or an anxiety attack. Um, or any sort of like hyperventilation episode because you've essentially like not brought in enough oxygen into your brain, <laughs> to your body and I definitely felt a little dizzy and just like not all there but I, <laughs> my anxiety also is like you're not going to get into a car accident because you know that would just be terrible. Um, so it was fine, I got to the airport, fine. Um, ended up going to the wrong terminal because all the signs were like, I don't know. They were all not messed up, but it just wasn't right. Um, so that was kind of stressful. And then at the same time, I was getting a phone call from this opportunity that I mentioned. And so just kind of like trying to juggle everything. And, and then of course being like excited that my dad was here, but then also feeling bad that like, hey, it's your first day here. And he had sort of like, we had wanted to go to Disney Springs for the day. And then being like, well, now we're going to the vet. And luckily while I was at the airport, I was able after like calling so many different vet clinics, who's like either like their numbers weren't right or like couldn't actually like find like couldn't get in touch with anybody like and listen I get it like a last day appointment is hard regardless uh, luckily I found a place um, it's called Sand Lake Veterinary Clinic and I want to say in Dr. Phillips I'm not entirely sure but really great place they, they were able to give me an appointment and I mean I felt better about that for sure I like the thought of not have, have giving the thought of not bringing her in somewhere and it being worse than a UTI because of course it was my assumption that she had a UTI but I don't know like you know like I'm not a doctor I don't know what if something is like what if something is really 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 wrong and she has to see someone right now um so uh, luckily I was able to get an appointment and you know again like my cat hates traveling she hates being in the car she hates her case and so I was you know, it was like one anxiety wave came and went and then the new one was starting because I was like, oh God, now I have to get her in the car and like, how am I going to do it? But it was fine. We were able to, I was able to get her in the case and bring her and the people were so nice and luckily, luckily she's okay. The doctor, like she doesn't have a fever, she doesn't have a temperature, everything checked out, nothing is enlarged or swollen. Gave me some anti inflammatories. It was just, you know, when all is said and done, it was just exhausting. I don't like, I don't know if any of you guys suffer from panic attacks or anxiety attacks, or it almost feels like when it's over, like now, like when, when you're finally sort of like done with the anxiety. It almost feels like you ran a marathon. Like I feel like I feel like I ran a marathon and I feel exhausted. I feel so tired. Like I feel like my adrenals are shot. Uh, I feel like I have no energy. My throat kind of is bothering me, which might just be like you know that I don't know. I'm just nervous. Cause, uh, like your immune system can get like really messed up from these like episodes um, and obviously you don't want to get sick and I don't want to like not feel good because my dad's here and then my friends are coming next week and like I just don't I just don't have time to get sick um, so yeah it's it was just a really scary day it was really really scary it was scary to like think 
it was scary to deal with that. It was scary to like think that something was really wrong with Elsie that like could be beyond just a UTI, you know? And like UTIs are serious and they can get really, they can get worse, which is why you like I had to take her. Um, but I'm just glad it wasn't anything like horrible and it wasn't that, you know, we didn't have to leave her there and oh, you know, just awful. Anyway, um, I just dropped my dad off at Disney Springs so that he could enjoy the night and just have fun and not have to like just be inside my apartment. <laughs> and I'm going to teach, I have to just teach one class at seven, easy. Um, and yeah, that's it. I just felt like it was the craziest day ever and it's like definitely gonna go down in my like personal history as like one of the scariest most anxiety ridden days ever um especially because I, I had a I had a really bad panic attack and it was the worst that I've ever had I think in my life so I mean if that's not one for the books I don't know what is um anyway thank you guys so much for watching it means a lot to me I I think I will feel so much better tomorrow <laughs> once I sleep. I'm, I'm so tired of such a headache, but I think once I sleep, tomorrow's a new day, and I'm, I'm just so happy my dad is here. I'm so happy that we get to have a little vacation together, um, and yeah, that's it. So thank you guys so much for watching. Again, I apologize for this lighting. I, I don't know. I think it, there's like no good way to time this out ever. I mean, I could car vlog like earlier in the day, but I wasn't. I couldn't today. There was, that was not going to happen, but you know, you feel me. I will try better next time. Uh, I love you guys. I really do. And subscribe if you haven't already. I'll talk to you really soon.